by Primark. Um, and it is just going to illuminate my face before I put on concealer and foundation. Speaking of concealer, I will be applying the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 under my eyes and onto my rednesses and breakouts, which I have enough of if you ask me. I'm blending that out with my damp beauty blender. This beauty blender is expensive, if you know what I mean, girl. So, yeah, I've had this for a long time. That is why it is not look... That is why it does look new. Sorry. So, I am now applying Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, this foundation looks a little bit dark on my face but it does match my body again pulling out that not so clean beauty blender of mine uh yes so the bond girl i am creating the look of has beautiful beautiful very hairy eyebrows they are pretty natural looking and straight it sort of looks like she doesn't really fill them in at all but for mine to look like hers, of course, I have to fill them in. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Eyebrow Pencil. Then I am blending that color out with a spoolie and proceeding with a colored brow gel to make my hairs stay in place. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Brow Plumper in, I think, medium brown. Yeah, I think that's it. Going in with a medium colored um brown eyeshadow by nyx cosmetics or nyx cosmetics this eye look from leia seduux i hope i'm pronouncing this right is a uh, very very simple it's just one color swept over the entire eyelid which is super duper duper simple and easy to do i am also bringing that towards my lower lash line now I am bronzing my face. Um, this Bond girl doesn't really have a big contour going on on her face. She only contours her nose or her nose is just perfectly beautiful as is. So mine is kind of kind of thick at the end. So yeah, and now I am applying Max Mocha Blush to the apples of my cheeks. Moving on with mascara, she has very naturally full lashes, but she keeps it natural with the mascara, so I am applying this Clinique mascara. I can't really remember the name, it's just really simple and easy, you know the drill, just pack your lashes full with it. Now I am applying Max Lipstick in Viva Glam 2, I think it is. Sorry that you can't really see it here, but you will be able to see it now. It is just this really dark burgundy color. You could leave it like this. Sure, you could if you really like that vampy look. But for this type of makeup tutorial, I am now taking a bright liquid lipstick. Bright red liquid lipstick by Essence. This is super cheap. And just brightening up that lip color a little bit to sort of come a little bit closer to her actual makeup look. So this was the makeup look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a pretty close match, in my opinion. Of course, I couldn't chop my hair short um, to match her sort of hair style, but I sort of curled it so that it would look nice. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.